If you have ever asked yourself the question, what would it be like to live on an island? Then this video is for you. I hope it's not cold. <laughs> I miss my washing machine. Having a washing machine is really a luxury. Coconuts kill more people than sharks kill people. My name is Nelly and in case you are new to the channel, I'm a travel blogger and I live in the Philippines. So today we are actually on a island hopping tour with Kiluma and we're staying at the base camp here on a island that is actually quite empty. We were supposed to go to the island hopping today but my boyfriend has some stomach aches so we just said okay we're going to skip today. Lots of uh, island hopping content is on our main channel, Making It Happen blog. It will probably pop up here. We have a whole Palawan road trip island hopping uh, playlist, so you can check it out. But what I actually wanted to do today is to show you guys what life would look like on an island. Staying 24 hours on an island without electricity, without Wi-Fi, without any access to like all the things that we use on a daily basis. So. I think I'm just going to show you around and then we'll take it from there. So this is actually the beach where I'm staying. It's pretty nice. It has a few rocks here. And then this beautiful scenery with the palm trees. And I'll show you around and um, give you a proper island tour with like where we're staying, what we're doing the whole day uh, to keep ourselves busy. We don't have any gadgets with us so it's going to be a challenge so right here we have a little bench which is pretty cool it's in the shade so you can actually just sit down and enjoy this beautiful view how epic so of course there's no entertainment here there's no restaurant there are no no cafes no shops nothing but nature and a few uh, tipi huts so it's quite different so you basically just hear the wind in the ocean and otherwise nothing so currently it's low tide uh, and I just decided to come over to these rocks to check it out because I see some paddles so maybe I can see some fish I'm not going to eat it because we have actually food here on the island but if you're ever uh, on an island and don't have food check out for the paddles on the rocks so I just saw a few fish in here more paddles so one thing that you might not know is that the Philippines has actually over 7,000 islands uh, meaning that the majority of the population lives actually on these islands and um, yeah there is no access to food so they have to be good fishermen to just catch some food um, and when you are here you basically see like during low tide people are catching crabs and uh, like other crabs fish and like all sorts of seafood so here I just saw fish crabs but it's uh, really hard to capture them on camera they're very shy uh, maybe I'll try to get a GoPro and capture uh, like put the GoPro in the, in the paddle but yeah it's pretty cool By the way, this is the beach where we are staying and I just discovered there is another beach right next to it which looks equally beautiful so I think I'll just grab the GoPro quickly and then uh, we'll head out. I just found a crab so I'm going to show it to you just stick the GoPro into the water so cool I'm so excited so I just met a local who got some water from here um, he's probably going 
to use it to flush the toilet or something else. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments down below if you know. Um, yeah, I think it's for flushing the toilet. So there's this beautiful rock formation uh, right left to me. Um, it looks so nice. And I think I'm going to take a picture later on because I still have the camera. So why not capture everything? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am really sweaty. I didn't shower <clears throat> because I was too excited to start this video and I just woke up and went straight to the beach. But I want to show you the shower of our camp because it's uh, very simple, but it works. So let's go. So this is our little restaurant area. Um, and right over there is the toilet and the bathroom. And this is our bathroom. As you guys can see, there's no shower head. So no shower head means we have to use these. So we just take the water and pour it over us. So I'll go and switch to the GoPro quickly so I can just uh, show you. One thing that I just discovered is we have a mirror in here. I haven't seen my face in uh, for days, I would say. There, there was no mirror on the island hopping. <clears throat> So yeah, it's uh, quite an experience. I hope it's not cold. Okay, then should be alright. <clears throat> okay, ready? Three, two, one. This is our toilet. Um, it's surprisingly clean. So we have this big bucket to flush. There's nothing else here. So I have to say the bathroom experience was surprisingly positive. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's very simple, but uh, the water was slightly warm. Um, and you guys might know that I'm from Bosnia. So um, we would have electricity shortage. So uh, the electricity would just go off and in winter we would only have cold water so um, what we would do is just put some wood in the oven uh, make a fire and cook some water for you know the bucket shower <laughs> so i was actually right when i assumed that the local guy is uh, taking some water for the toilet so yeah one point for nelly <laughs> so i'm just going to brush my hair put on some sunscreen and then Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm freshened up, ready for the day. Um, and I think I'm going to show you where we're staying. So I'll show you the little uh, beach huts where we're staying. But one thing that I wanted to mention is you have like when you are on an island, um, just be aware of the coconut trees here because they're like coconuts falling from the trees and as maybe you know it, maybe not, but there's a statistic that um, coconuts kill more people than sharks kill people. So <laughs> be very aware of that. So yeah, it's here. You can see it. Yeah, here are the coconut tangling. I've decided to take a walk on the beach just to see what's going on here. There's a lot of seaweed um, and unfortunately there's also some trash, plastic. It's uh, swept onto the beach which is, uh, which is the reality that we live in. But there is hope. <laughs> 
there's hope. So um, I think I'm going to do a beach cleanup later on. I'll ask one of the caretakers for a bag. Wow, it's so green here. So just walking past this uh, little house on the beach, which is very cute. Um, and to answer one of the main questions, how do people actually um, cook or like, produce electricity? And I think it's safe to say that there are like three options, I would say. Option number one is to use fire to cook, um, which is pretty, pretty easy. Um, option number two is to use a generator and option number three is to, do, to use solar power which we also have at our um, Kiluma camp and yeah it's very limited but it's good enough to cook breakfast lunch and dinner so I am back at the base camp and I have no idea what time it is my phone battery is empty and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to keep myself a little bit busy, so I'm just going to wash our clothes, I guess. <laughs> Living the island life. a while I think it's a very good workout but I have to say I miss my washing machine having a washing machine is really a luxury the good news is lunch just came out um, there are two guys from Kiluma who actually cook really really amazing food they're here in the, in the uh, Kiluma base camp so I'll just show you what we got because it's oh it's so good it's so good all right we have some watermelon then a cucumber salad Pancit with shrimps and green beans, calamari and uh, chicken, and of course rice. So it doesn't happen often on tours that you have some really nice veggies. Uh, my plate is so colorful. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, look who came begging all of a sudden. Now you want to hang out with me, huh? <laughs> are actually the Filipino Nipa huts, also known as Kubo, if I'm right. Um, and the name comes from the Nipa because it's actually made of Nipa and bamboo and uh, palm leaves, which is very cool, uh, very sustainable as well. And there are lots of palm trees here, so <laughs> you can build a few. I think uh, my friend Ave mentioned that it costs around $200 to build one, so that is quite good. Like super inexpensive and uh, efficient so that was my day on the island and I have to be very honest with you guys it was one of my best and most relaxing days of my life quite a different experience though I tried to keep myself busy which I achieved um, I lost track of time and I enjoyed it a lot so Anyways, I just wanted to say we are here with Kiluma Island Hopping Tours and we have a lot of videos on our main channel with the island hopping, but I thought this would be an interesting video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time, I guess.
<laughs> and comment down below how you would spend your day on an island. That's it for today. Okay, now it's over. Bye bye. Show you my world.